Uh, David Bennett. Thank you, Mr Chair. Um, when we talk about the budget policy statement to debate today, it's, it's been a sad debate because it's been hijacked by the two opposition parties that have used it as an attempt to have um, just a blatant attack on the government rather than debating the real issues that are there and, um, and providing the substance that this party and this parliament has been trying to provide in a, in a very constructive government um, over the last year or so. And, um, you know, it's, it's really sad when you see the environment that the Labor Party has uh, devolved into where it has to um, basically have fear tactics and, and um, just prey on those that are most vulnerable in our society um, and try and just um, talk about what they will actually potentially have um, or lose in this world, rather than actually looking at being constructive and delivering solutions yeah. and actually working in this parliament for the common good of New Zealanders. And I feel very sad when you see this today, that how the Labour and Green opposition has taken this debate to a stage where they, they've taken it away from the people of New Zealand and they've used it for petty politics um, when we are debating something which is very much more important, and that is the budget policy statement debate. And when we look at the budget policy statement, um, the, that gives the government's focus for getting a sustainable economy that's going to grow and go forward. And I think there's one thing that we need to look at, and that's a policy behind that debate, which hasn't really been enunciated too much in this parliament, but I think will come more and more as we go through the next uh, year, as we look at the budget and what comes out of it. And that is that I think there needs to be an attitude shift in New Zealanders. There needs to be a change in approach so that New Zealanders understand that we do have a role to play in the world economy and that we can deliver that successful future. And it's a perception change that's needed out there. New Zealanders need to know and they need to have the vision from their government that there is actually a way in which we can earn our way in this world and achieve the goals and therefore deliver the services and the society that we all seek. And that's what I think that this budget will show. That the, the budget policy statement is a setting out of some of the parameters, but over the next year you'll actually see a change in direction of attitude, a mind shift for New Zealanders, where New Zealanders see that there is actually a way forward and see that that way forward has been promoted positively by the government of the day. And when we look at what is going forward, you know, New Zealanders need to see that you need to value education. New Zealanders need to see that there is a future in working hard. New Zealanders need to see that there is a future in investing in industry and taking risks and getting success out of our research and science and development. And those are the things that the National Party has indicated that it wants to see come through in its budget. It wants to see a country which is delivering a new vision of economic growth. An economic growth based around achievement and success and higher wages and a society that provides opportunities for all. Now this contrasts with previous budgets that you have seen um, from the opposition over the last nine years, which have all been about just buying votes and just looking at the day and today and this point in time and not actually delivering a constructive future. And I think that's the thing that the National Party will be seen as being successful in doing with its political partners um, in the coalition. And the public out there understand that and they're ready for that change in direction and they're supporting it. And that's why you see such great support for the government and the Prime Minister. Whereas on the opposition side, they lack any traction. They don't have any understanding of what the public want and they don't seem to be able to hit any issue because they are looking at an old way of dealing with what the public want. They're looking with an old direction of just spending money that comes in rather than actually a new direction where people want to build a future. They want to see that there's some aspirations, some goals, and there is that brighter future ahead of them. And that's what the National Party and its coalition partners are delivering. And I'm very proud to be part of that. I think that we're setting up a direction, a change in attitude that's long been overdue. And really, that is the only answer 
for New Zealand to get where it needs to get in this world. Uh, we can't live in the situation that we have in the past where we just look at taking money and redirecting it. We actually need to set up a, a design and a, and a passion for New Zealanders to get education, hard work and success. And that's the vital ingredients of keeping New Zealanders in this country and actually delivering the standard of living that we need. And, um, and it comes back to a lot of, a lot of um, policy over many areas. No, there is the infrastructure there that sets up that, that environment so that New Zealanders can take advantage of a world economy where we are very well placed um, in this region to be very successful. There is the need for national standards so that we have that education base there so that people don't fall between the cracks and then try and be picked up by a government at a later date. We don't want to see people get to that situation. We want to give them that hunger and desire to actually make the most so that they actually they want to go and get an education and learn. Right. Compare that there with our opposition. They want to dumb down the population. They want to keep people down so that they can just tell them what they need to about their fear tactics, about what, their, um, what they could potentially be and what they could aspire to. That's the Labor Party mantra. The Green Party is supporting it and it's very disappointing when you see what they, could, they are doing or have done to our country in the past and its people when they could have achieved so much more for, the, for, our, um, for our country. And um, that's the heart of what it's all about. It's providing that direction and aspirational point of difference. And we look forward to seeing that aspiration actually come forward and New Zealand has been constructively successful in the future to build this stronger country. And when we look at a country that, you know, New Zealand has done um, pretty well in the, in the last year when we consider the economic environment that we encountered. You know, we had a country that was in recession and, uh, and the world was in recession. You know, under Labor there was falling economic growth, there was rising unemployment, there was high inflation, a rising current account deficit, you know, and deteriorating fiscal deficits and, and ra rising crown debt, all those things under Labor. You know, they had set us up with a situation which was very difficult. And if you talk to people out in the street, they say to you, oh, well, you guys came in at the hardest time, but you've still delivered for our people. You came in, they left you a basket case. That's what the people out there say. That's what, that's what they say. And, they, and we've actually delivered when they gave us nothing. And, and that's the history of um, national governments picking up the can after the Labor parties. But the public understand that. And they support us because they know that we've gone through these tough times and actually delivered a brighter future for New Zealanders. And over there, you see the Labor Party. You don't. What, what's there? You know, Shane Jones try, trying to take Ooh. over the leadership, and David Cunliffe and David Parker there. All three of them. Which one will be the leader of the Labor Party in a year's time? That's going to be the question we want to know. The three bright hopes of the Labor Party sitting there together. You know, and Trevor's not in it now. But those are the three faces. That, that should be the picture on the news. Which one will be the next leader of the Labour Party. And they, look at them, they're all smiling, they're all in their heart of hearts, they all want the job, they're all the right age, they're all looking for it, but none of them will get there. None of them will ever become leader of the Labour Party and actually be successful. They will never do it, because what you've got is leadership in New Zealand now. We've got leadership here and direction. Leadership and direction that has been missing for nearly a decade. And that time, New Zealanders felt that they were missing something. And now they've found it. They've found that direction, they've found that leadership, and they've found a government that looks after them and provides a future. And that future is going to be announced in our budget coming up this year, which is an important budget. And it's an important budget because it delivers the essential elements of that future. And look at the three of them, they're smiling again, aren't they? They know the, the three of them looking together. And, and they don't know which one is going to be the leader, do they? In fact, you could bet on them if you really wanted to, to see who would be the leader out of those three. But they're just waiting, waiting and waiting 
till the, after the next election because they know they've got no 